and we welcome you to the Mexico City Plaza here in Mexico City for our main event of the evening. Ten rounds of heavyweights. And now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. And he's up on the First round underway in this scheduled 10 rounder. This is the kind of fight that makes boxing the ultimate highlight sport. He's the fighter that can get rid of you with one single shot. When we look at the power, that's what gets your attention, Joe, but really ultimately what gets it done is a great sense of timing. His power would be nothing if he didn't get it across so often. International's the victim of a powerful hook. Good job on the two-punch combo by Crusher. And he returns on that exchange. Blocks away that headshot. That's a well-scored left hand by International. Body shot lands. It was the right. Right hand over the top. Very accurate with it. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Good looking counter punch. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Little head knocking with that right hand. Scores big with the hook to the head. A well placed gutsy uppercut after being tagged. Hitting his mark there going upstairs. Phenomenal pace being set here. They are burning it up early on. Let's find out who's in better shape. We're gonna see. Rusher's opponent now is gaining a little momentum. Two solid hooks landing downstairs. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Very accurate work with the hook there after fine, fine defense. Just 10 seconds to go in this round. International's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Round comes to an end. There are many parallels to be made between the pro fight game and the pro football game. Yeah, there are, you know, physical ones and emotional and mental ones. I mean, the physical ones are when I work with some of these behemoths, you know, like offensive linemen. They have to punch out, you know, with their arms. They have to make sure that they get those hands out now. If they raise their elbows, it's like a fighter raising his elbow before he throws a jab. They lose the power, so you gotta teach him to keep those elbows in, punch out without any telegraph, without any loss of power, and also get those hands out at the right distance. If they're a little late, the big guy gets in on them, and now he can control him. And of course, the mental aspects of it, where they get into those dark rooms we talk about every once in a while, where they have to remember that they have control. They can make the choice. You know, you get in those dark rooms, you start to think that you lose control of choice, that your opponent's making a choice for you. No, that's not the truth. Russia's really in position to control things in this fight if he can do what he did just there, and that's land a good, solid jab. Halfway through round number two. Good step back counter punch there. Teddy, I've heard you say it a million times early on in the fight. If there's any one piece of good advice you can give, it start depositing it into that thing. And bang, and away he goes. Internationals hit the deck. He goes down. Our first knockdown we've seen tonight. Down he goes. Now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on for a little time. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Oh, that's a good hook to the body. A little head hunting never hurt. Does it with the hook. Get rid of that one. Rushers defense let him down that time. He got caught by a well-targeted counter punch. International is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. What a damaging blow. Nice hook upstairs. End of the round. You ever have to calm a guy down after he scored a knockdown? That's a really great point because a lot of times that can be the turning point, but not for your guy that scored the knockdown, for the other guy. Because sometimes when you score a knockdown, you start to think it's going to be an easy night. 
and you forget what you knew when you came in. That wasn't going to be an easy night. You are going to have to bring all the tools out of the tool set. And it's important to remember that. Rusher so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Now, this is exactly what I love out of an offensive fighter, Teddy. A guy who's able to put together the multi-punch combinations and make it look like it's just a sweet sign. Yeah, exactly. That's what you can do when you have good fundamentals. Not just good physical ability. That's only part of the equation. But just good technical ability. And that's what he's doing. He's snapping his punches. They're nice and clean. They're crisp. They're short. They're together. A well-placed left hand up top. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Nice work on the combination. Right hand and then the left hook to the body. Both guys have a lot to be proud of with their performances in this round so far. And they still want to give more. What an encore in this final minute. If you were a kid, you would feel that you're on one of those rides at Space Mountain. I mean, it's just extraordinary. Rush is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Good right hand. left by international 10 clicks of the top watch the hook and that's the end of round four. the beginning of round four a chance to look at the scorecards and teddy you like what he's done so far early a clean sweep of all three rounds yeah a couple of rounds were close but on the inside when both of them had their chance to separate a little bit he was the one who made the right decision to punch well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Keep opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. International smashed by a hook. by Crusher. No good shot. Now he gives the left. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. Good combination punching by International. A piercing jab by Crusher. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. And now he's targeting upstairs. Solid left hand to the head. He scored well after being hit himself. Good job zoning in on that body with the left hook. Even better job bringing the right hand in combination. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. That was a fine block by Crusher. Crusher's getting back to basics. A good, solid jab. And as this round, that at any point, this fight could come to an end because it is being fought with bad intentions. Yes, these guys are not behaving like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecards. They're letting everything go in every punch. Gets rid of that body shot. The combo lands upstairs. International's wanting the counter punch here, but that doesn't seem the route to go here in this fight, Teddy. No, he has to be honest with himself and see that, but you know, people under pressure in all walks of life, you know, in the ring, especially you see it right away, you, you kind of peek at it right away, it's obvious. Maybe. Maybe he doesn't want to see what he has to see because then he would have to discipline himself. He's not ready to do that. Then he would have to make the change. Maybe he just wants to leave it this way. At the end of the day, people are going to say, oh, that guy fought kind of fight that, you know, hard to fight with, you know, and he has an excuse. 
Yes. Maybe that's what's going on right now. What an impact that left hand just made by Crusher. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. What a trap he just set, and he lands a nice counter punch. Yeah, that's the old cast with a ghost trick there. You know, you're there one time, you give him a little shade, you know, a little shadow, and then he throws at you, you pull back, bang. Come right back with your international starting to score at ease against his opponent there anytime you can land a three punch combination you're really hitting your groove he's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching good strong jab by crusher what an excellent two punch combo by international international has taken a lot of punishment with the right hand teddy you've said many times well, one place I could tell you where not to put it, in the middle. And he needs to move it to the left, outside that right hand. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Crusher's doing well, sticking to a game plan on the outside. Keep working that jam, baby. Hey, get out of there. You got to see that coming, Well, you can see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. How about that left hand? Keep moving, keep moving. That's it, that's it. That's okay, that's all right. Now pay him back. Go pay him back. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Right hand, left hook to the body. And there he counters back against his opponent. Good exchange, he fires back. Firing off the uppercuts, great exchange. Scored well with the left downstairs. Rushes well off the mark that time. I like this kind of defense, Teddy. I like this kind of guy that just says, go ahead, think you can try to hit me up top. You can't, great move. A very good movement, very good vision. He sees everything. To do this, you have to be very calm. He's very calm. He's very in control. Rushers left now getting into the mix. Defense can turn into offense. The counter punch by International. Nailed by a counter punch. Boy, another solid round for him. Precision had a relative, had a cousin. Guess who it would be? It would be timing. Because the timing has been perfect and has allowed him to be so precise. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Rusher's corner is going to be all over him to improve that defense. His opponent is scoring well. Two solid hooks to the body. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. Hooks on the inside. Hooks on the inside. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Rusher's going about these middle rounds with a real solid game plan, and that game plan includes jabbing his way to the inside, and then once he's there, setting up camp. Yeah, you have to wonder. You don't wonder what he's doing. He's doing the right thing, but you wonder why his opponent is allowing this to go on, because he doesn't belong on the inside at all. Oh, Very nice work there. Jab, uppercut. Rusher's left, working well that time. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Right to the body. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Comes right back at him with a left hand. How about that? Counter shot to the head. Good looking right hand after he got hit. Two-punch 
combo by International. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. They start up again, back to action here with another round. But who knows how much longer it'll last. This has been a completely one-sided fight. Good block by Crusher. Up a cut. Come on, champ. Pull that up a cut. That's the good job. Good job, boy. Good job. Crusher's on the bad end of a very impressive hook up top. International showing a little bit of a defensive shell, but Teddy, I'm seeing punches still getting through and splitting that guard. Yeah, well, that's the problem, Joe, when you put those earmuffs on, but you don't move your head. Some of them are going to get through, and just as importantly, you handcuff yourself, so your opponent inside, is going to stay inside. in there a little bit longer, knowing that nothing's coming back right away. Precision work with the left hand by Crusher. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Good work toe-to-toe -to -toe there. Both fighters got in on him. Get inside, get inside. Good job. International's tagged by that powerful hook. Scored by Crusher. Good flush shot upstairs. Well, something's got to stick. He sends the combination to the body. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Not an accurate hook at all. Nice hook by Crusher. I think everybody's impressed by the work he can do. The way that he keeps getting in there. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Tried the hook, didn't get it. Good hook by International. International's doing well here with that two-punch combination. with a left hand. Upper up, upper up. And now he scores well with the straight right. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Now he missed that right. Lands a big hook. A well-targeted jab that time. International is able to land a nice, clean left hand. Blocks a shot and then does nicely to work on his own. Now committing to that jab straight hand and it works out. Get your hands up. Looks to the head. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Pace yourself. In the crosshairs of a right hand, left hook combination. Good accuracy with that uppercut. And a smart counter punch by Crusher. Well, I think a lot of people probably didn't expect this out of him, but I like the way he looks on the outside. He's an inside man, but guess what? He's got an outside touch. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Crusher's jab lands well. International showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. What a difference from corner to corner. Fight. Peppering his opponent with power shots. Well, it's been like that all night long. Anything he throws finds a target. Come on, champ. Beat him to the punch, now. Good return fire that time. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Um, 
comes right back with a shot of his own. That's where you want to be. Good job, baby. is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. That's what I want to see. A little head hunting with the left. Rusher's really doing a nice job with that hook on the inside there, Teddy. I noticed his opponent squared up a bit. Makes for a bigger flush target. Well, yeah, there's a lot of surface there when you square, and he's finding that surface. How about that exchange? He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. A crushing two-punch combo by International. Just hit a big shot there. What a hook to the body, and he is down and in bad shape. Three, four, Five. Well, you should have your judge's license taken away if you don't see this one the obvious way, Teddy. If one of these judges dare go another direction with this, I want their picture up on a post office board. The most wanted poster. Yes, sir. All right.